twin turbo Tuesday then. I was wondering when you'd finally lose it, because none of that is turbo. There's lots of bits that go round inside a casing. It's not a turbo. And there's pressure involved. Um, yeah, so lockdown 2.0, as many people are calling it, obviously means that I um, can't really install the turbos then drive and get it mapped. I can install the turbos here, but uh, as explained on the last video, I'm due a house move soon as well. So I really need to plan when I install the turbos and then take the time to go and get it mapped. So uh, it's on hold at present, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to rebuild the gearbox that you saw in the last update. Um, and rather than fit it after the turbos before the dyno, I would get it installed before the turbos and before the dyno as well. So this is the gearbox, all um, separated to bits. This is ZF HP uh, 24, well, it was. four speed. Well, it was, yeah. Uh, I do know where all the bits go. In fact, the F and E clutches are all now uh, rebuilt and assembled, ready to drop into the housing. And uh, I'm now working my way through the D and C clutch and piston packs, because they're all new seals for the pistons. Um, the D clutch, the C clutch, and then the other clutch they decided to call C as well. Did you know that they've got two C clutches? Well, that's what you're claiming. Yeah, <laughs> it's A, B, C, C then D. Um, so yeah, and then got the uh, housing all nicely cleaned up, ready to install it into. Um, just filming this little bit quickly now because my plan is to come in over the weekend and get this assembled, hopefully, um, and I'll bring my Range Rover in on Monday, just prior to the Twin Turbo Tuesday upload, uh, because I've also relocated the uh, vaporizer, which we will jump to now which is the future, but also the past. Yes. Under the bonnet then of my Range Rover, uh, the vaporizer relocation has gone really well. As you'll notice, there's no big bit of plastic behind the battery anymore. All the battery clamp still remains though, uh, and the original actual under tray for the battery, and, and that's still there. Had to retain this side because I didn't fancy making an extra bracket for my isolator switch for the winch right now. Um, so the LPG ECU that was here is now in front of the battery um, on a nice little bracket that picks up off the uh, battery clamp bolt so it's really easy to remove the cables long enough as well just to uh, slide it out on top so uh, I can access bulbs and things behind here nice and easy. Uh, the vaporizer is now tucked down nice and low as well it was obviously sitting a bit higher when it was here in its original position um, so that's uh, nicer and now I have this area here and the hope slash plan is that the uh, petrol ECU will now relocate here from the opposite side of the vehicle uh, because obviously I've got the charge cooler header tank going where the ECU is so that's all coming to plan hopefully 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 although I am quite a way down the alphabet in terms of plans on the twin turbo conversion how many more fingers do you have to cross them yeah <laughs> um, so uh, but that hey um, Things like this, you have to keep progressing through things to work out to the end result. So yeah, that's good. And the gearbox went well at the weekend as well. So we'll cut to that. Gearbox then, um, not complete yet, obviously. Um, so all of the clutch housings, clutches and everything are now in. Everything's lovely and clean. All new seals on the pistons. Um, and I'm now at the stage of cleaning the oil pump housing up. Um, which if you zoom out, Steve, is this part here. So this sits between the bell housing and the gearbox, just on top of here, and uh, houses the oil pump. So I'll be inspecting the oil pump gears and everything. I have given them a pre-look and I'm pretty confident that they're good gears, but I will uh, have a much closer look before I obviously install them. And then it's bell housing and rear tail housing on. And then the fun part of uh, disassembly of the valve body. Um, Disassembling it's fine, it's putting it back together that's your problem. Yeah, knowing where all the little, uh, the little um, check valves, the, the ball check valves and cups go, which way round they go is, is fun, but um, it probably doesn't need opening up. Um, but as I'm here, um, I didn't drive this gearbox, it was um, uh, one that came out of a vehicle that uh, wasn't driven in, so um, 
it's, it pays to just take them to bits and clean them all up and make sure everything is uh, is in good condition in there as well. Um, everything I stripped out of this gearbox, the clutches were all in good condition. There was no blackness to any of them really. Um, a little bit of tainting of black on a couple, but nothing to concern themselves with. Uh, whereas I have stripped boxes down where the clutches have been completely burnt out and the um, yeah the metal plates between them have, have been heated the whole way around and, and warped etc. So uh, yeah. Um, Hopefully, the next video will be probably a quick one of this actually fitted to the car and the fuel pump installed. Then, touch wood. Your car still runs? The car will still run and drive through all gears, and I'll still have reverse. Hopefully, then, I can start looking at installing turbos, because lockdown might restrictions might be lifted, and I will be confident I can get it tuned after installing the turbos. I was going to say see you next year, but that's not actually that far away now. It's not that far away, and actually with everything that's going on and my potential house move, we could well be in 2021 before the turbos are on. I would hope not, but it might well pan out that way. Yes, yeah. we'll see. We'll see. So um, thanks for following, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, I'll fill you on at the next stage. See you next time.